four key features of control charts. Here you have the x-axis, or where your time values will be documented, and your y-axis is for your measures. Now, first of all, you will already have all your data and have made your basic calculations. We are going to set up the frame of your control chart and explain the four key elements or features of a control chart. Now remember, all of the key features we will discuss are based on calculations. They are not just drawn on your control chart. We will just identify what these four key features are. Number one is your average control line. It's drawn across the middle section of the graph and it's usually as a heavy solid line. Number two is the upper control limit. And this is above the center line, and it's often called the plus three sigma line. Number three is your lower control limit line, and this is below the center line. It's often called the negative three sigma line. And fourth are your measurement data points. These are individual measurements plotted on the x and y axis and joined by a line. So these are your four key features of a control chart. Now let's talk about zones. The zones on a control chart represent the various deviations. They are not identified as a key feature of a control chart. Once you identify the upper and your lower control limits, divide the sections of the chart evenly between the upper control limit and your mean, and then your lower control limit and your mean. Your zones are calculated as zone A, which is your mean plus or minus 3, 6, sigma. Zone B is your, your mean plus or minus 2, sigma. And zone C is your mean plus or minus 1, sigma. So again, the four key features of a control chart are the average or center line, your upper control limit line, your lower control limit line, and your measurement data points. 